everybody welcome back to another video i'm so excited today because i'm going to show you my favorite books for getting in tune with the divine feminine energy goddess energy and you know just learning how to bring that into your everyday life you guys know this has been um, a huge part of my spiritual practice and I've read a lot of books about it and I still have so many more on my shelves that I need to read but these are my favorites that I've read and that I feel like have genuinely impacted me. <laughs> Mister's here, he wants to be a part of it. So he's gonna help us. These are our books turned around for mystery. You guys might recognize the top one. We'll go into all of them. Six, I have six books, one of which is like a guided journal. We'll talk about it. So yes, if you're new here, hello, my name is Luna. Thank you so much for joining us today in this video. I hope you have a good time. Um, I'm a witch and I do like divine feminine and goddess and glamour magic stuff. So that's a quick little intro. Let's jump in to the books because I know you guys are curious. Okay, so for the first book, this is a book you guys have seen in a review of mine, Witches, Sluts, and Feminists. Now this might not be like what you immediately think of when you think of goddess energy because, you know, a lot of times like we are kind of programmed with the belief of like goddess is like above, you know, sexuality and vulgarity and stuff like that. Um, and that's just like not the case, you know what I'm saying? Um, a huge part of what I've learned in my Divine Feminine journey is that sex is sacred and being in tune with your sexuality is a huge part of being in tune with your goddess self. And this book does an amazing job at kind of breaking down a lot of like lies we've been told, I guess, and really dives deep into um, kind of taboos and like the things that a lot of us women are made to be, um, you know, feel guilty about goes into like the witch hunts, goes into um, sexual liberation, things like that. This is a very educational and kind of um, like collegiate level vibe. The author, she is a um, teacher at a college, I believe. So it is definitely like, it feels very studious. Um, it's not in like an insane way and it's also not dry. It's very fun. She has a huge sense of humor throughout this whole book and I think that's amazing. And um, yeah, it's just, it's really amazing. You learn so much. I learned so much from this book and I was like, holy shit. Why does no one teach us these things? So this is for you if you're looking to conjure the sex positive, as it says, um, and kind of dive into like what like what it is that you want to release in terms of like sexual like suffocation and like how like you know society is like you should be this and this and um, yeah. So if you're wanting to just like open up a, like your uh, sexuality and get in touch with your sacral chakra and your sexually liberated side, this is absolutely the book. Um, and also it just, you learn so much and you're just like, what? How is this a thing? How did this happen? It's such a good book. If you're a history nerd too, you'll love this. I'm currently adding a book that I forgot to put here because it was at a different, you guys, my house, I have just stacks of books everywhere. I thought I got to all the stacks. I didn't get to all the stacks. So on that note of Witches, Sluts, Feminist by Chris, Kristen J. Soleil, we have Sacred Sex by Gabriella Herstic. You guys know I love this. Okay, this is along those same lines. Okay, so let's talk about it. Witches, Sluts, Feminist is not a witchcraft book. It doesn't really, it's not really a spiritual book. It's more of like, sexual liberation and stuff, which I do think is really important when you're on this spiritual journey. However, sacred sex is all about like the occult, the witchy things. So if you're somebody who's into spells and rituals, you're gonna love this book. It's amazing. <laughs> um, it's definitely not a beginner book. So if you're new to the craft, if you're new to meditations and rituals and stuff like that, um, especially if you're new to like paganism, um, this isn't a beginner book. There's a lot of stuff that is so interesting and so just like deep and dynamic um, that I think a lot of intermediate witches will appreciate, but I could see it being a bit challenging or like kind of an information overload if this is like the first witchy book you've ever read. Um, if you are a beginner and you're interested in paganism or witchcraft, I would highly recommend um, Gabriella Herstic's book. <laughs> What's it called? I always forget it. It's like, um, inner witch guide guide 
to becoming a modern witch. I'll put it here. You guys, it's my favorite book. It was the first book I ever read and it's so amazing. Um, Gabriella Herstic is like a god, honestly, <laughs> a goddess, if you will. Um, this is the magic and path of the divine erotic. So if you're someone who is into the sacred sexuality and you want to connect to that deeper, like you've already kind of like been in it, you've already kind of done it a bit, and you want to dive deeper, deeper into like the sacredness and like the ritual of it, this is absolutely the book. It is so amazing. It's so in depth. It's crazy how much information is in here and how much knowledge Gabriella Herstic has. Like she's amazing. Um, and yeah, so it has tons of rituals, tons of um, like history. It does talk about like sex ed and um, the deities and stuff that you may want to work with. So you have a bit of mythology in here, a bit of general like sex ed stuff, but most of it is like rituals and lots of affirmations, tarot spreads, um, meditations. It's so, it's amazing. It's like you're walking through this with a friend. It's very, it feels like a very safe space. You are encouraged to explore your sexual desires and your stuff without feeling, you know, weird or like, you know, you're being judged. It's very, very good. Love this book. Okay, the next one, you guys. This was one of the first books I read. <laughs> it's one of the first books I read about goddess energy and it really stuck with me. This is You Are a Goddess by Sophie Bashford. This is one of my all-time favorite books. I need to reread it because it's been a while. Um, this is like, if you're gonna get one book, like you're new to this, if you're gonna get one book on the divine feminine goddess energy and how to channel that within yourself, this is the book, okay? Working with the sacred feminine to awaken, heal, and transform. One thing that I really love that Sophie Bashford does is it's it's kind of a journey, okay? And she uses different goddess archetypes and different goddesses um, to guide you through a sort of shadow work transformative journey. So you start with Kali, right? Okay, <laughs> and then this is the healing and clearing part. You do Kali, you do Mother Mary, and then Quan Yin. Um, and then you do Awakening and Initiating, which is the Avalon Priestess, Hecate, and Aphrodite. And then transforming Lilith, Mary Magdalene, Isis, which of course was my favorite. Um, <laughs> and it's amazing. You learn a lot about goddesses and it's not overwhelming. It's very beginner friendly. I remember not being overwhelmed or anything during this and it's just amazing. So good. This is definitely like the go-to, like if you're new to this, if you're wanting to really dive into divine feminine goddess worship, but also is less goddess worship and more finding the goddess within yourself, finding confidence and kind of awakening the goddess within you. This is the book to do it, okay? Love it. Oh, I love all of these books so much, you guys. <laughs> if you guys are new here, you might not know. I'm a huge bookworm. I love reading and I love all these books. All these books are just so amazing. This book is The Glam Witch by Michael Herkes, okay? I fucking love this book. This is an amazing book, okay? This book, when I got it, I do, okay, here's a little plug. I do a book club every month, so if you are somebody who's really into books, um, definitely check out my Patreon. It's the Empress and Star tier, which is the $10 and $20 tier. And you get a ton of other goodies, including like astrology stuff, tarot stuff, um, things like that. But we also have a book club and each month we choose a book for the Zodiac season. So last year during Libra season, we chose this book. Everyone votes on it. So we chose The Glam Witch. And I did not realize how much of it was a Lilith devotional, which I ended up loving so much. I had only briefly worked with Lilith and I don't even think I should say worked. It was more of just like observed and like respected and enjoyed the idea of Lilith, but I hadn't like dived into her mythology and stuff. This entire book, the Glam Witch, Glam stands for Great Lilithian Arcane Mysteries, but you don't even have to like have, like if you're not a deity kind of person, you don't have to work with her as a deity. You can just use her mythology and her story to help amplify your glamour magic workings and your journey with yourself finding your sacred goddess and your inner goddess and all that stuff. 
Um, but there is a lot of, um, such an amazing book. I really want to reread this book so much. Um, there's a lot of history and mythology about Lilith, which was so interesting. Michael Herkes is really, really intelligent and writes very captivatingly. One of the chapters is called Bionic Bitchcraft, which I love. Um, it goes into glamour magic a lot, obviously, but also like, you know, there's one part about creating your own lotions and potions, self-care, stuff like that. Um, basically, this is like good witch, bad bitch shit, okay? If you're familiar with that around here, that's really what this is. This really is like how to be hot, how to fuck shit up, and how to not get fucked up, <laughs> okay? Like, it's really good. It's, um, it's one of my favorites. Um, it's all about confidence, sensuality, being true to yourself. This is definitely more dark divine feminine stuff, um, less about, and that's kind of like me. None of these books are, I'd say if you're very like love and light, like new age stuff, You Are a Goddess is probably your best bet and a couple of these other ones that we'll come to. But if you're like dark divine feminine, like, you know, kind of energy, then this is probably gonna be your favorite. This is an amazing book. Again, I have to reread it. It's so, so amazing. Next up, are you guys tired of hearing about sex magic? Sex witch. <laughs> um, this is a big part of my life. So a lot of my divine feminine goddess books are about this because sacred sexuality is so important to me. Um, this is an amazing beginner witch, beginner book about sex magic and stuff. So um, with the three, which is Sluts Feminist, Sacred Sex, and Sex Witch, I would say if you're looking for historical, um, like a bit more like, you know, researchy kind of vibe, which is Sluts Feminist. If you're new to witchcraft, if you're new to sex witchery, definitely this book, it's so amazing. And if you've like dipped your toes in it, you've been doing witchcraft for a bit, like you know what you're doing, Sacred Sex is like the advanced guide, if that makes sense. This book's amazing, and I think even if you're an intermediate witch, you're gonna love this book because it's so fun, it's so good, it's so fun. There's a lot of fun um, spells, um, and there's also some like DIY recipes in there that I've made some, and they're really nice. <laughs> and I love Sophie St. Thomas's tone throughout the book. It's, it's very funny, I don't even know. I think she's a Scorpio, I think she said. Um, and I think it comes through. Maybe she's not a Scorpio, but I think she is. Um, yeah, and it really, 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 really comes through. Um, so yeah, it's an amazing book if you're new to sex magic and you're wanting to just like dip your toes into what is it, how can you kind of bring in confidence with it and get connected to your sexuality and kind of like explore it and accept it a bit more. It's an amazing book, I love it. Okay. Another amazing book that was a book club, it was actually my first book club last year for Virgo season, is Warrior Goddess Training by Heather Ashamara. This is an amazing book as well, obviously. I wouldn't be telling you about them if they weren't amazing. Um, and this is, in my mind, very similar to You Are a Goddess. Okay, it's very similar. This one, the You Are a Goddess one, I think connects you more to goddess energy. Whereas this one is more, I don't know, do these go through? I'm trying to remember. This doesn't like take you through the goddesses in your journey. It's kind of just like, these are the steps to take to become your own warrior goddess. And if you're, so if you're more into like goddesses and you want to learn a bit more about mythology and like deities and maybe like connect with them in a bit more of a witchier way, I think you are a goddess would be better for you. But this is really great if you are just like kind of wanting to learn how to be a bad bitch, right? Uh, it's less goddess focused and more just like kind of self-helpy a bit, um, but it's really, really, really good, okay? I thought it was really empowering. There was a lot of really good, I think, journal prompts. Yeah, they had a lot of journal prompts in here. Um, activities, exploration. That's where I learned the loving kindness meditation, which is really good, I really enjoy that. And it's something you can always come back to, both of these, um, You Are a Goddess and Warrior Goddess Training, both something you can come back to. And it's just like healing is always a journey, so you're always going to go through these phases again. Um, but yes, love this book a lot. And lastly, I have you guys a little guided journal. Okay, just for fun, this is the Goddess Journaling Workbook. Um, I thought this was by the same person who did You Are a Goddess because literally like, I don't know. 
This feels the same vibe. It's not, but it's still really good. And it takes you through in the same way that you are a goddess does. It takes you through your journals with um, different goddesses. And so you'll focus on specific things to work through in your journals um, that have to do with the goddesses. So the first one's Persephone, and that's kind of like your own little underworld guided transformation. Um, and I think each of these you go three months? No, two? month and a half? I don't know. Um, then you go into Artemis, Athena, Aphrodite, Hestia, and Demeter. So it's all Greek goddesses, but what I did is I wrote to the side um, the Norse goddess equivalent because I work with the Norse like pantheon a bit more, but most of these were just Freya anyway, so <laughs> it's fine. Um, but I thought it was really interesting. I thought it was a really good way of connecting with different goddesses. And it's not work, you're not doing like any deity work, you're just kind of reflecting on their mythology. It has a little page about their mythology. It's not super in depth, but it is really good. And so I definitely have enjoyed this. It's, um, I'll take you to a point where I haven't written in because privacy, you know what I'm saying? Um, it's not like a huge, each day is one page. And it's not a huge page to write on, but it does give you, oh, and sometimes it's not writing. Sometimes it's like little activities or something. It gives you a gratitude journal at the end, which I really appreciate because I do daily gratitude journaling. And so it's kind of nice to have it all there and kind of like all in one spot, but it is big. So if you travel, I have gotten so off because it's a 365 um, workbook. So you can start it whenever. Um, it's not dated or anything, which is good because I'm so behind and it's not because I don't do it. I mean, yeah, sometimes I forget, but this is big. If you are traveling and you travel lightly, this is big, okay? So I'm just told myself it's fine if you don't journal every single day, like it's literally okay. Um, but those are my books. Did you guys like that? Eee! What was your favorite book? Let me know. Um, I'm really curious what you guys are gonna get if you're gonna get anything. They're so pretty. I love them and they're, they've all done so much for me and have been such important pillars in my own journey. I'm really thankful to share them with you guys today. I hope you enjoyed. Um, yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments. I love you all so much. Make sure to join my Patreon book club if you want to have a little community of witches to chat about witchy books with and uplift each other. Right now it's all ladies, so we're reviving the like lady focused center right now. It's really, really enjoyable. Um, so yeah, I hope you all enjoyed. I'll see you all next time. Bye.